Okay, I'm back. This is pumpkin pie. And let me show you what I did. Okay, scooped them out. Now, see how I have them all turned down on each other? And if they're, if they're too big like this, cut them in half, stick them down in there. We want the lid to be on flush, like this. So we're going to turn that on high. We'll put it on the back burner. And the when you can take a knife, which I had a knife, a small knife, or a toothpick, or a very long toothpick like I have, and you can pierce pierce through it and it, it goes in really easy just it's kind of like, kind of like a potato just pierce it and it just slides right through that's when it's done now I had a little bit too many fit in there so I'm gonna do this one later that's no problem that's just the way it is this is one's gonna be cooked later so let me turn up so there we got steaming pumpkins sounds like a some kind of band now playing steaming pumpkins okay Let's not forget our pie pan. It can be either a glass, it can be foil, it can be, as long as it can hold the crust, that's fine. Okay, here we have the dough. Let's get it out. I'm gonna take another drink of my tea. Cut it right in half. Because we're gonna not use all of it. So we're gonna stick it right in there. And then what you wanna do, if you wanna cut it in half again, it's gonna be a little crumbly, don't worry about that. Nope, have it fall off. We're gonna want a big, big handful of it. So make that into a nice round. Everyone's hand side's different. So we're gonna want it in our about that much. Now, if you're making tortillas and it's bouncing around in your hand, that's good because that's the size you want it. But this, this is good. And if you want, you can take a little bit more, stick it on there. If you don't feel that's enough, remember there's always gonna be scraps. So let's make it a little bit bigger. So there we go. So what we're gonna do. We're going to flour the board lightly, put our pie crust on it, grab our rolling pin that has decided to leave me at my, oh there it is, all the way in the back. Okay, so we're going to flatten this. Very carefully flatten it. This is going to be really delicate. So just work it. Because you want to get this as big as possible and just gently pick it up because it's going to be really. If you want, you can press your fingers into it and make it a little bit bigger to help it. And then roll it. Make sure it doesn't stick to your uh, stick to your um, cut, cut it all stick to your rolling pin. And then I rotated the cutting board, lift it up, move it center, roll it out some more. Lift it up again, very carefully. Now see, I'm just lifting it up on either side. I'm not pulling it all the way up. It's really delicate. Knock over some stuff. Okay, and if you, if you feel uncertain about lifting it up, take one of these. Gently. Ooh, got some. Gently, just kind of gently, very gently. Move it underneath. That's if you want to do it that way. If it's sticking like it is right here, 
a little flour sticking it seemed to be sticking on this side too for some reason a little flour it's okay to put flour underneath it roll out some more now see i'm turning the cutting board this time roll it out oh okay oh no we got a rip well that's okay let's watch what happens just push it back together if you have a rip in the middle Take some of the dough out here and press it right in and then roll it. Okay. Oh, it's okay that way. Okay, lift this up. Very gently. Now roll it even bigger. Turn the cutting board. Okay. Let's take it. That looks about right. When you can when you can take this, put it over and it hangs over. That's good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we want the, the crust to hang over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna gently we're gonna gently roll this onto the onto the uh, rolling pin. So see how what I've done? I roll I lifted it up and I put it right onto the rolling pin. Now we're gonna roll get onto the rolling pin. It's stuck a little bit, so let's put this back into the bowl. See how it is? And um, don't, don't, you don't have to uh, spray or butter your pan. It, it, it's not necessary in this. Okay, then roll it right into the, or flop it flop it right into the um, apple pie dish, pumpkin pie dish, and gently pull it so it just kind of fits in. This takes some ingenuity because this is very delicate. Gently. Now we're not pushing into the dough with our fingers. We're just, we're just pulling it down so it fits in. Because we're not, the, the crust is thin enough. We don't need any thinner. Now, okay. Uh, this looks horrible. Okay, if you want to, you can you can do the whole you know nine yards of being perfect and and doing all that. But what I do is I want the crust to come up. Cover that up. I'm paying attention and talking. I want the crust to go over the lip a little bit. So we're gonna take another ball of dough, dough ball, and we are going to roll it out. Do the same exact thing with a small piece of dough. Roll it out as thin as possible. Lift it up. And those people out there that have to have their apple pie just looking perfect, like it has to be artistic, I guess, and everything has to be lined up and perfect. Well, my apple pie is an eating apple pie. It can have ridges, or wrinkles, or rips, you name it. Okay, so what we're going to do is, last time, I apologize, <laughs> I, I guess I wasn't paying attention, I was doing too much talking, but you see how it see how see how this lip is here right here you want the dough to fall you want to cut the dough so if I get a knife I'll show you right here cut the dough right about here like right there so it's even with this lip of the pie so what we're gonna do is after it's after it's uh, done then we're gonna we're gonna have it stand up because we're gonna blind bake it next. And when you blind bake it, what's going on is you're pre-cooking the crust. Because the crust is gonna shrink a little bit. If I was to do like a lot of a lot of um, people say to roll right over it like that to cut the crust off, well, what happens with that is you're having the crust be level with the pie pan. So when you blind bake it, well, what does the crust do? The crust shrinks. Okay, let's check our 
or uh, what happened to that pokey pokey? Well, let's use a knife. I like using sharp little knives because they got a little bit of a little bit of a more poke to them. Lift it up, lift it away from yourself. Nah, some more. Still too crunchy. Okay, back to the pie. Okay, so we're gonna lift this up and watch what's gonna happen here. We're gonna cut this in two strips. And okay, where, well, this is called fixing right here. See this? Well, we're going to add it right there. Voila! Press it in with your fingers. Might want to add a little bit of water to your fingers for this. Forgot to say that the last time because you want it to bond. And don't worry, when the crust cooks, no one's going to be able to say, oh, gee whiz. This isn't a perfect apple pie. See what she did? Okay. Okay, let's get another. So this will make four. So basically what we're doing is we're gluing this on to the crust or a lengthening in it. Okay. Oh no! I got a little split down here. See right there? You can see it? Well, take a little bit of the crust, water fry it. Voila! Fixed. Okay, so this, let's get a little bit of water on there. Now adding the water like this is not going to hurt it. Okay, and while well, we're at it, I had to sacrifice some kidney beans for the blind baking. Uh, any kind of beans work, uh, pinto beans. So what we're going to do with this, and I can do it right now, is just put it right into the pan. So, and we're not done with this, but turn it around. Let's put this right here. Actually, let's wet it down. Might help if I wet it down first. And if it falls apart, that's okay. Squish it in. Let it hang over. Push it in if you want to add extra length to a side, just as long as it hangs over. Now, if you miss a spot, don't cry, it's okay. Remember, it's all going in your mouth, and once you taste it, you're gonna be like, Okay, well, thank you. See, I'm missing right there. Add another right there. Hands are wet enough. Okay. And maybe right there. So you can really, really add a lot more to the edges if you want. Okay. All bent over. It's all bent over. That almost came out really wrong. But I tend to do stuff like that, so I have to correct myself. <laughs> Okay, let's check these, uh, knife, got oh, right in front of me. Okay, remember, hot, steamy pumpkins. Okay, that's better. Like that. See how it just goes in? Kind of got a, a crunch to it, but not, not, not nearly what it was. Okay, we're going to leave them in just a little bit longer. And I'll be right back.